my name is Shelley Tyndall, and today I will be analyzing a painting by A.J. Lagarde. And as I talk, you can look on the end of the outline and view the painting as well. I found the painting on the website dailyartpainters.com, and I chose this website because I felt that because all of the artists displayed were currently working artists, that I could relate to them more closely. I also like the fact that on this website there were short biographies of every artist as well as comments about each piece by the artist. And I really definitely feel that having that background information on the piece enhances the participant's experience and makes it more meaningful. I chose the artist because immediately as I was going to the galleries I was struck by the artist's use of color and because most of the artist's works were abstract and after studying painting in the textbook I have a real curiosity and, and a new appreciation for abstract painting. So the painting that I chose, the first thing I noticed about this painting, and again you can look at this painting more closely at the end of my outline, the first thing I noticed about this painting was the color. It has very bright green and yellow which gives a very natural feel but at the same time the brightness of the colors also gives it an exciting feel and an almost wild feel. And the darker shades in between the greens and yellows also creates an illusion of depth and <coughs> gives the painting sort of a mysterious feeling. Line is used effectively in this painting as well. The soft wavy lines and work work together to kind of create hard straight lines and it into the center of the painting all of the lines and color draw your attention right to the center of the painting <coughs> and it almost feels with a combination of the wavy and strong lines it almost feels like you're being pulled into the painting um, kind of softly and and firmly at the same time The line works with the color to create the depth and the texture as well. And it almost feels like something is behind the painting. <coughs> the name of this painting is Amazon. And I studied the painting before I looked up the name. And after finding the name of the painting, I felt that it kind of closely resembled Helen Frickendaler's flood in the textbook in the way that it kind of rides the line between between what representational and abstract painting. You can almost see in the painting when you look at it after knowing the name that it, it looks like the Amazon. It looks like the, it could represent the foliage of the, of the jungle. <coughs> when viewing the painting without the background information, I got an overall feeling of, uh, of a kind of a wild, ominous feeling. Um, and after I read the background information of what the artist felt about the painting, the artist seemed to have an environmentally conscious feeling when he was <coughs> when he was making the painting. And and after knowing this background information, I could participate with the painting again in a different way, which was which was very interesting as well. After studying the painting uh, section in the textbook and and practicing analyzing and interpreting um, paintings, I definitely feel that I have a better understanding and that I get a richer experience when I'm participating and analyzing these forms of art, especially the abstract paintings. And works like Lagasse's Amazon are not only aesthetically appealing, but if you take time to have a true participative experience that can also definitely enhance your understanding of yourself, others, and the world as a whole. Thank you.